afternoon, everybody. Um, we will start with the broadcast section that's got no embargo, followed by an embargo section at 10.30 p.m. tonight. Please raise your hand to ask a question and remain on mute. Otherwise, no live tweeting in the broadcast section, and we kindly ask for one question per person to allow us to get through as many people in the short time we have. Uh, Ian Abrahams, please. Uh, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon, Antonio. First of all, can, you update, can you update us on how everybody is in terms of your players who had COVID last week and whether or not, or how much you're looking forward to actually getting back into action tomorrow? Yeah, uh, the, the, the situation uh, uh, has not changed uh, uh, so much. Um, players are back uh, in training and uh, other players are continuing uh, to, to be isolated. And uh, But also for, for the players that uh, they're back in training and uh, they, need, uh, they need time, they, they need a bit of time. Uh, to be fit and uh, to to find again uh, a good physical condition. When uh, when uh, you have this, uh, when you have COVID and uh, it's the COVID uh, is not only ten days and uh, many times uh, he he bring uh, with uh, uh, with uh, with this virus uh, a situation that. Uh, you you make your body uh, not so strong, and uh, for this reason uh, you have to go slowly. Also because uh, you risk uh, to to have a players uh, injured after COVID. Okay, Niv Dovrat, please. Hi, Antonio. Good afternoon. Hi. Good afternoon. Hi. Challenging times, but um, I look at it from a positive point of view. What have you enjoyed the most? Um, from the six weeks you've been at Spur so far, honestly, I, I enjoyed uh, the the work that we did with uh, uh, with with the players, and uh, um, it was good. And uh, I uh, I have seen a great availability and a great will, uh, a great desire to to improve. Uh, and uh, I for sure I enjoyed uh, this type of situation. And uh, it was a pity to, uh, to have these uh, uh, these problems, no, with uh, with nine players for for COVID, uh, because uh, uh, COVID uh, has interrupted uh, a bit uh, the work with uh, with the whole squad. But at the same time, I think that uh, we have to face uh, every situation, and during the season, there are uh, problems. But uh, uh, we have to be good, uh, to be ready, to face uh, every every problems in the in the right way. Thanks, Niv. Uh, Thanks. Alistair Gold, please. Hi there, Antonio. Um, I just wanted to uh, to ask something. You you said a little while back that you'd ask for another month to evaluate your players. I just wondered whether this, with this current situation where maybe you'll have to use different players than you'd intended to, is this like a, a last chance maybe for some of these players to prove to you that they should be evaluated highly? No, no. I think uh, instead, I think that this, uh, this type of situation and uh, to have uh, uh, so, so many players with, with COVID uh, give a chance, give opportunity uh, uh, all the players uh, to show me that uh, they are good, they, they deserve to to continue to to, to stay in uh, with Tottenham, and uh, I think this is a, a big chance. Uh, surely, in this type of situation, uh, you you need uh, the whole squad. You need uh, to uh, give opportunity uh, players that. Uh, mm, uh, in this month, uh, they um, didn't play uh, so much. Okay, George Cummings, please. Antonio, hello. Thank you, Anthony. I just wondered, can you tell us the status of the Rend game, please? Should UEFA be a lot more flexible because of Tottenham's current situation? And do you and the players want to play that game? And do you think you can play that game? Uh, we, we want to play the game. I think uh, uh, Tottenham deserves to to play 
to play the game and uh, to uh, to play the last game uh, of of this group. And uh, it's a, a really strange situation because uh, uh, we didn't play uh, not for our fault, uh, but uh, for uh, a big problem because the government uh, decides to to close our training ground to stop it for three days uh, uh, our uh, training session. For this reason, uh, we didn't play, not to, not for uh, uh, other reason. And I think that uh, we don't have fault for uh, what happened. And uh, I tell you that uh, we deserve uh, to have the, the chance to play the last game and to, to try to go to the next uh, round. Thanks, George. Jonathan Veal, please. Hi, Antonio. Can you confirm how many players will be missing for tomorrow and whether you ask the Premier League to postpone the game in Leicester? Um, I, I surely, and uh, uh, we have uh, we have players uh, positives, and uh, and um, for sure uh, some players tomorrow they uh, they can play, and uh, um, as I said to you before, and uh, players uh, are back in training, and uh, um, today. Uh, two players uh, are back in training for the first uh, training, and uh, yes, they're another player. But uh, as as you know well, and uh, they they need to to be fit uh, before to to play. And uh, surely tomorrow I'll bring these players uh, on the bench because uh, for 15, uh, 20 minutes uh, at the end, and uh, I think that uh, they, they have. Uh, in the legs, uh, 20, 25 minutes uh, to, to play with, with us. But I think this is the big problem that uh, we must be good to face in the future, uh, to, to bring uh, this player uh, that uh, they uh, affected COVID, uh, to be fit and uh, to avoid uh, injuries. Um, this, uh, this could be the, 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 the big, big problem in the future, not the 10 days. 10 days, uh, you solve the situation. After 10 days, you have the players available. But then uh, you, uh, you have to pay great attention uh, the way to train. And uh, if the body is, uh, uh, is ready to work in, uh, uh, in a good way, or you, you have to pay attention, or you have to be moderate, uh, during the training to avoid problems in, in the future and injuries. And uh, I think this is the, uh, the big problem, and not only for Tottenham, but for uh, all the clubs that uh, have uh, uh, COVID players. Thanks, Jonathan. Uh, Charlie Eccleshare, please. Hi, Antonio. Obviously, Hi. like most managers, you like to be able to control situations, training and all of that. How hard has it been this last week with the situation constantly changing and virtual sessions and all of this sort of thing? Uh, yeah, uh, la, 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 last, last week was, uh, was terrible. Uh, was terrible because the uh, um, government uh, decides, uh, I think, uh, <laughs> also uh, in the right way and uh, to close the training and then uh, to stop uh, our uh, uh, our training session and uh, after Wednesday, if you remember, I had the uh, press conference that I said it's very difficult to, to speak uh, uh, about football today. And then uh, we had uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday uh, without training session. And then uh, the government uh, reopened our uh, uh, training center uh, on Sunday. And then uh, from Sunday, uh, we started a game. We restarted a game. To, um, uh, to, to work with uh, not many players, also because we had uh, problems also with under-23. But uh, we, we started with uh, 13, 14 players. And uh, today, um, we had a uh, training with uh, 16 uh, players, uh, more young players. Thanks, Charlie. Uh, James Bench, please. Hi, Antonio. Um, just a couple of questions picking up on that, that topic about rent. Do you have an indication from UEFA when you will know the status of the game? And 
you mentioned on a couple of occasions the government uh, shut down your training ground. Could, could you just clarify, does that mean that Tottenham were closed, you know, were told you must close your training ground? I, I, I think I think that uh, the, 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 the government uh, uh, took the, the, the best decision because uh, uh, we had an outbreak here and uh, I think uh, that the government took uh, the best decision for uh, for us also to stop no to stop this uh, this infection no? and uh, uh, for sure to to close the training ground and to uh, don't give us the possibility to to have the training session was a pity but uh, I understood and uh, I think the club understood very well that the government the government took the the best the best decision uh, about about Ren I think that. Uh, it and uh, uh, we wanted uh, to to play and uh, Wednesday we prepared the game against uh, against the Ren uh, if you remember and uh, I think uh, uh, we deserve we deserve to play we deserve to to play our chance to go to the next group also because uh, uh, it doesn't depend of of us uh, that uh, uh, we didn't play. Uh, I guess the uh, I guess the red. Okay, and final one in this section, James Ollie, please. Hello, Antonio. Um, Hello. Just to, just to be clear, we understand that the Premier League have rejected requests from some clubs to postpone matches this week. Did Tottenham ask the Premier League for the Leicester game to be postponed? Yeah, but for me it's very difficult to uh, to speak about this topic, and uh, uh, for sure, uh, um, the Premier League didn't didn't want to uh, postpone the game against Leicester. Maybe because we have to uh, to play uh, uh, against uh, against Barley and then uh, against uh, Brighton because we postponed. Two uh, two games before, um, yeah. Uh, I can I can understand. We can understand uh, in one end. In another end, uh, I think that uh, we deserve to play uh, our chance against Ren to to go to the next group and uh, don't find. Uh, um, uh, a good solution uh, between uh, UEFA and Premier League. Uh, why Tottenham has to pay this? Uh, why? I think that is not fair. It's not fair that we have to pay a situation that uh, uh, is not our fault. Uh, I understand that uh, if uh, uh, we did uh, something wrong, and uh, we must be ready to accept every decision. But in this way. For, for the club, for uh, for the players, uh, for uh, for me, for my staff, it's very difficult to uh, understand uh, what uh, what is happening. Okay, we'll move on to the embargo section for ten thirty p.m. tonight, please. Um, same situation. Raise a hand, please, and one question per person. Uh, Matt Law, please. Hi, Antonio. Hey, yeah, Matt. Um, it seems quite clear that football's best chance of not having further problems in terms of matches being postponed is for players to get vaccinated as much as possible. I wondered whether you have spoken to your players now about the need to get vaccinated for football to continue. And also, have you spoken to your players about what about the need to be careful outside the training ground and maybe... They can't go to restaurants for a while. They can't go to days out for a while because the virus is everywhere at the moment. Yeah, I, I think honestly, I think that uh, um, the players uh, uh, are very intelligent to understand the situation that uh, uh, this uh, virus uh, is going on again and. Uh, we have to pay attention because uh, no one wants to to stop uh, the um, to stop games and to stop uh, the people to uh, to go to, to to the stadium. 
And uh, I think my players are, are so intelligent to understand this. And uh, I don't think that uh, uh, I need uh, to to inform them uh, about uh, um, the situation, to pay attention. Uh, I think that uh, this is normal. This is normal to pay attention for you and for your family, because uh, uh, we all uh, we are family and. Uh, uh, we don't want to affect other uh, other people, and uh, for sure we have to pay great attention because uh, um, uh, the situation uh, is uh, is much worse, no? And uh, if you compare uh, the past, but at the same time, I think we are in right time to uh, to find a solution, to pay more attention, uh, uh, especially because uh, no one wants to stop. Uh, the league, uh, no one want to stop to play, no one want to stop the people to you know, to come to the stadium. Okay, Dave Heidner, please. Hi, Antonio. Hi, hi. Um, <clears throat> can you tell us how many available first team players do you have for the game tomorrow? And and when you put your hand on your heart, do you really think it should be going ahead? Uh, we, we have uh, um, the players uh, that uh, uh, they uh, wasn't an effort of COVID, and then now there are uh, um, uh, three players more that uh, before uh, they were with uh, with the COVID, and uh, um, it's it's not easy situation is uh but uh, i repeat uh, during during the season uh, uh we have to know that uh, there are uh, uh moments that you have to face uh, with uh, with the problems and uh, you must be very good to face this problem and to overcome this uh, this problem for sure covid for us uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a big problem but at the same time, I think that uh, we have to face uh, with uh, uh, in uh, in a strong way, in a strong way, and uh, to try to do our best uh, also in this uh, uh, in this try strange uh, situation. Just quickly, how many injuries on top? Thanks. No, it, it, no, no injuries. No, no injuries. No, no injuries. No. And, uh, uh, yeah. Romero and uh, uh, a, good, a good news that uh, Giovanni Lo Celso is uh, available and uh, uh, he restarted to uh, to train with us uh, uh, from uh, uh, Sunday and uh, yeah about the injuries yeah now we have only Romero and uh, we hope uh, for Christian to recover very soon uh, you know that the injury is a serious injury and. Uh, I understand also that uh, the, uh, the the frustration of the player uh, to uh, and don't have the opportunity now to 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 play. But Christian uh, has to be uh, calm and uh, also to to recover in the in the right way because we need a win. Charlie Wyatt, please. Hi, uh, Antonio. Have any of your players been really ill? I mean, most of the time the COVID symptoms are very mild. But have any of them felt really unwell? Because sometimes we've seen that with players and they've taken three or four weeks to get back to their full fitness. Is there is there a worry there with that? Yeah, honestly, honestly, this is, uh, I think this is the big problem, no? And uh, um, because when, uh, when uh, you have COVID and... Uh, uh, you have 10 days and uh, uh, you stay at home and uh, uh, usually after 10 days uh, uh, you become negative. Uh, the, the, the problem that uh, uh, the way that the COVID affect your body and uh, surely we have to pay great attention uh, to have uh, the right to training session um, I think that uh, not many people knows very well uh, 
the time, no, the time that uh, the player or that the body of the player needed to recover well and to be fit 100 percent. And uh, this is the problem not only for uh, Tottenham's player, for uh, all the players uh, in, the, in the whole world. But at the same time, you know that uh, when you have a squad of 20 players and uh, nine players are with COVID, uh, <laughs> you <laughs> it's normal that uh, you are. I, I'm a bit a bit worried. But um, as I said to you before, and uh, there are many problems during the season. Uh, uh, this, uh, this is a big problem, but we want to face uh, with uh, in the right way and to overcome this problem and uh, to overcome this uh, uh, this situation. Sammy Mockbell, please. Hi, Antonio. Hey. Um, it's just it's just emerged that uh, Leicester have nine players unavailable uh, through illness and through and, and COVID. And they have um, they have also asked the Premier League to postpone the game. Um, in that in that in that context, do you now do you feel that the game should should be going ahead? Yeah, I think that uh, uh, maybe uh, we are play we are play. I don't know. Eh? I don't know about. Uh, this uh, about uh, Leicester uh, situation, but uh, if uh, it's true that uh, uh, nine players uh, uh, for Leicester are, are with COVID, uh, it means that uh, it will be a, a, a strange, a, a strange game, no? With the two uh, two teams uh, that um, COVID affected these uh, these two teams and. Uh, uh, now, now we have we have to uh, now we have to do uh, what uh, uh, Premier League Premier League uh, tell us to to do, and uh, I think this is not uh, time to um, to try to. Uh, to, to, to find a new new solution, uh, but I don't know. And uh, uh, last week, uh, you know very well that uh, I'm very frustrated, and uh, I was very nervous because uh, to have uh, every single day uh, players with with COVID uh, make me uh, very upset. And now um, we are not having players uh, um, with with COVID. We have. Uh, we are having uh, problems post COVID, post COVID, and uh, honestly, uh, if I compare this uh, uh, this week with the last week, uh, now we are lucky. Uh, quickly, Antonio, is it is it almost unfair on the supporters who pay their money to go and watch the games, only to find out that the teams that they're going to watch are under strength and they're not potentially watching? the players and the best players that they wanted to pay to go and watch. Yeah, but, uh, but I think uh, that uh, everybody, everybody knows uh, the, the, the situation. And, uh, and there are people that uh, are in charge to, to take the best decision. And uh, honestly, and... Um, uh, we, have, we have to try to to be available, but uh, other people have to take the best decision. Uh, uh, it's not for for us, and uh, there are uh, people in charge to to take uh, decision for uh, for best of football, for uh, for uh, for the best of uh, of the country, for uh, for everybody. Yeah, but I repeat, we are available. Uh, for uh, for everything. Thank okay, we've, we've got thank you very much. we've got time for two quick ones. So Paul Brown followed by Dan Kilpatrick. Antonio, uh, when you were talking about the Wren game, you said it's not fair that um, we have to pay for a situation that's not our fault. Um, I'm sure a lot of people can understand that, but the, the follow-on from that obviously is: Do you think it's fair that you and Leicester should have to play this game 
as a result. And can I just also ask, did any of your players need any kind of hospital treatment or any, any serious treatment for their, their COVID when they tested positive, please? No, about about uh, uh, for, for the players that uh, uh, they they were with uh, with the COVID. Uh, I think that uh, um, now now they they didn't have a good uh, uh, good problems and uh, as a symptom and not serious symptoms and uh, and uh, this is good. This is good for 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 our players and uh, and then uh, about the rain rain game, uh, I repeat and uh, um, and the situation is very very clear and uh, the situation is uh, uh, everybody everybody can can see the situation and uh, uh, government stopped us uh, to, to have the training session. Uh, to uh, have the opportunity to come uh, and uh, uh, to have the training session in our training center, and uh, in this uh, in this way, I think it's impossible to think to play a game. And uh, for this reason, I say that uh, uh, we deserve we deserve to uh, to play the last game uh, of our group. Tottenham deserve to deserves to to play this uh, this game. Uh, because I repeat, um, it wasn't our fault, and uh, it didn't uh, depend of, of us. But uh, for uh, for COVID situation, and then uh, uh, because the government decides, I think in the right way, to to stop our activities. Uh, because when you have a, an outbreak, and uh, you need to stop, otherwise uh, you risk to. To have uh, all the people that work here with uh, with the COVID. Okay, and the final question, Daniel Patrick, please. Hi, Antonio. Um, the the yeah. league had the most positives ever recorded in a week uh, last week, a uh, forty-two, and obviously the league has introduced new measures to try and curb the spread of COVID. Are, are you confident that the government will let the Premier League continue? Or are you worried that the whole league might have to shut down? Honestly, I, uh, it's very difficult to uh, to answer this uh, this question. And uh, it's important uh, uh, for, uh, for for us to pay to pay great attention and uh, to try to. Uh, to avoid other uh, uh, other players or other uh, members of of the staff um, to take uh, to take COVID, um, I think no one uh, no one person uh, uh, want to to stop uh, to play, and uh, no 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 one uh, of us. Uh, 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 up to uh, no up and uh, uh, doesn't want to to close the stadium uh, uh, for our fans because um, and uh, we play for them we play for them and uh, we want to try to protect uh, to protect at the best way uh, this uh, this situation for sure I think that uh, maybe if we uh, bring uh, uh, a bit of attention more and uh, it will be good for uh, for everybody thank you everybody thank you thank you very much good afternoon